The next feature we're going to discuss is about loading remote RSS feeds. Most RSS feeds are not very targeted to narrow niches. Most of them are news feeds or very generalized when you're looking for remote RSS feeds for content. So I've already picked a couple of RSS feeds. I'm going to load it here. Now this text block here is to help with defining the title for your RSS feed since they're fairly generalized and since I'm talking about home organizers I'm gonna add home organizers home improvement etc this will help in creating the title for your RSS feeds I'm gonna upload one more RSS feed into this to give a little bit of variety go back down here we can pick any category you want. I'm going to leave it in organizer. I'm going to do two to three posts per day, one to two sources per post, post in the future, pick my date. Now this is where we can either pick follow or not follow for the attribute. I'm going to put the no follow because I want to demonstrate to you that it automatically places the no follow attribute so that when Google indexes it doesn't follow the links out. So I'm going to update the settings prepare the sources it tells you how much for each found six posts for one total of 12 six for each one of them now I'm going to create the mashup of these multiple RSS feeds you can see it's three in one post three in another post it randomly goes out and does this and so forth so let's take a look at what it looks like I have an empty blog here and here it is home improvement now over here it reads the content of the posts and it adds some tags up in here and then you go over here same thing home improvement with the keyword we added home organizers home improvement home improvement home organizers these are the titles now let's take a look at the source code to show you the no follow here it is there's one no follow let's move this up so you can see it see it Another no follow. This is the attribute assigned to every one of the links within the RSS feed. So that way you don't get page rank bleed. 